discourse markers. <laughs> discourse markers are expressions which organize, comment on, or in some way frame what we are saying. An example is well. So you live in Boston? Well, near Boston. Well here shows that the speaker is aware he or she is changing the direction of the conversation in some way, not giving the expected yes answer. Another example is how teachers use words like right and OK to organize what is happening in a classroom. Right, let's have a look at exercise three. OK, let's have a look at exercise three. A. What are some common expressions which organize the different stages of a conversation? Now, what shall we do next? So, would you like to come to the table now, please? Good. I'll ring you on Thursday then. Well then, what was it you want to talk about? Now then, I want you to look at this picture said by someone in control of the conversation, for example, a teacher. Fine. Let's meet again next week then, shall we? Great. Let's meet again next week then, shall we? Often used to close conversations. So, where was I? I was telling you about my aunt. Often used after an interruption or to come back to the main topic or story. B. Say. In these mini dialogues, the expressions in bold modify or comment on what is being said. It's cold, isn't it? Yeah. Mind you, it's November, so it's not surprising. What's her number? Let me see. I have it here somewhere. It's quite a problem. Listen, why don't you let me sort it out? Look, why don't you let me sort it out? Would you? Thanks a lot. And he said he was go... Well, that's typical. Hang on. Let me tell you what he said. Hold on. Let me tell you what he said. See, what's markers? I can't do that. You see, I'm not the boss here. Explaining. He was, you know, sort of just standing there. Hesitation. He was wearing this kind of cowboy hat. Not sure of the best way to say something. He was wearing this, like, cowboy hat. So that's what we have to do. Anyway, I'll ring you tomorrow. The speaker thinks the topic can change, or the conversation can now close. It rained all day yesterday. Still, we can't complain. It was fine all last week. It rained all day yesterday. On the other hand, we can't complain. It was fine all last week. Contrasts two ideas or points. We shouldn't be too hard on him. I mean, he's only a child. Making clear what you mean. In informal spoken language, people often use the letters of the alphabet, usually no more than A, B and C, to list points they want to make. Why aren't you going this evening? Well, A, I haven't got any money, and B, it's too far anyway. It is often difficult to hear these expressions when they are used in rapid speech. But when you are in a position to listen in a relaxed way to someone speaking English, for example, if you are not the person being spoken to, or you are listening to informal speech on radio or TV or in a film, it is easier to concentrate on listening for discourse markers. D. Other useful discourse markers.